welcome back to the channel everybody. The weather is just right outside and with a lot of help from the heater I think we're going to be able to get some rims painted today. As you can see I've got them hanging from everywhere inside my garage here. So uh, without too much yakking let's go ahead and start getting these things prepped. Anyone that's interested, this thing is called a Tornator. Not affiliated, I just think it's cool and it does seem to work pretty good. All right, let's get some thick gloves on and start wiping these things down with acetone. Okay, well we're getting ready to mix up our primer here. This is an a epoxy primer. Mix it one to one with a catalyst. And uh, more or less reduce the taste. swaying and dry. I'm sure you can hear I got the heater going. Not looking too bad. I kind of like this uh, epoxy primer. Let these suckers dry overnight. 
right, then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to throw some paint at them. All right, so we're back at it again today. We're gonna to try to lay down some paint. I've already went through, hit all the rims with scotch Bright real quick, red scotch Bright. Wiped them down with prep solvent and went over them with a tack cloth. So now all we gotta do is just mix up our paint and start spraying. Okay, this is the lineup we have. This is the paint that we're gonna be using is Global Star Industrial Silver MET 0051. I was told from my paint shop, this is some really good stuff. I like the color. It's got a little bit of the uh, metallic fleck in it. We are mixing it. Oh, where did I see it? Oh, it said somewhere, but anyway, you mix it three to one to one. So I'm gonna set you guys up on this paint thinner can and we'll start mixing. These buckets make it really nice for mixing paint if you're uh, not very intelligent like myself. So you go to your ratio, three to one to one, first part's your paint, then you do your hardener and reducer. Pretty simple. So that's what we're gonna do. And this stuff wasn't cheap either, so hopefully it comes out real nice. I think I've done just about everything I could have done and as well as I could do it as far as prep work is concerned. Give it a good mix and then we'll load up the gun.
Okay. Well, that's it for the painting. That stuff laid down pretty good. I'm a fan. Told the guy at the paint shop that uh, if it was as good as he said it was, I may use that same stuff for painting the cab. We'll just turn a light on here. Well, I guess that really doesn't do it justice. Next thing will be putting valve stems and tires on these bad boys once this dries. Alright, well now that paint isn't flying anymore, we can use the good camera. We're going to try to get all these tires mounted up today, get them out of my way. They're kind of taking up a lot of space hanging. They turned out pretty good, if I do say so myself. This one isn't that great. It's a little pitted, but we'll put that on the inside. Uh, my lack of patience got the better of me, and I already mounted up a couple because I just got too excited about it. These will be outside rims because they're actually in good shape. But I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. They look good. The, uh, the coating on it's nice and hard. Can't scratch it or anything with your fingernail. It's nice and shiny, smooth. I'm happy. So the first thing we gotta do is uh, get our valve stem installed and then we'll put the tire on. This is your valve stem right here. Just got a rubber grommet on it. Pretty simple and self-explanatory. I always uh, put a little bit of the tire mounting compound on the rubber just to keep it from drying out. Don't know if it helps any, but it makes me feel better. Loop up that bead real good. You'll be glad you did. Of course, these big drive tires, nine times out of ten, they're a lot easier to do than the uh, smaller trailer tires. tire down on it, give it a bump with your knee, and you're already halfway done. Now I'm going to be careful not to uh, chip up my brand new paint here, but try to uh, demonstrate putting a tire on best I can. Pretty much just stand on your tire. Stick your bar in there with the curved end of your bar. Get up under the back side of the rim and just pry it over. Have your foot follow it to hold the side wall of the tire down so it don't pop back up on you. set up yet okay I'm gonna need two hands for this because this air truck doesn't like to stay on but usually if it doesn't set up right off the bat you can tilt it back and lift up on the rim a little bit and it'll usually take air 
who knows this might be the first one that needs the bead blaster we can try it out for the first time well i think this might be the time all right this is my first time putting pressure in this thing hopefully it doesn't blow up Eight brand new tires on eight freshly painted shiny rims. Think they're gonna look pretty sweet on this truck, especially with having the hubs color match to the cab on the truck. I have yet to settle on a paint color yet, but I think it'll look pretty good against a metallic silver rim so with that i thank you guys for tuning in i know it's been a while since my last upload i've had more work to do than i know what to do with and i'm sure all of you are probably feeling the pinch from the most recent gas prices lately so that's kind of put the brakes on this project a little bit I just want to say thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.